Hey, um, I just woke up. Uh, I have a really busy day today, so I really have to get out of bed. It's 7.40 something, and yeah, um, let me put some makeup on and we'll get going. Hey, so I think I am looking much better and ready to go outside. Um, it said the low was 66, so I brought a sweater, but it's pretty sunny and hot out. Uh, I have a lot of things to do today. I sold a couple paintings online and I have no postal supplies at home, so I have to go to the post office and be that guy who has nothing and just put all my stuff out and stuff it in packages while I'm there. You know that guy. So disorganized. Um, and because I'm disorganized, I made a little list of things I need to do. The list is seemingly short and uncomplicated, but it's basically go to the post office, get some coffee, um, I need some organizational tools, like, uh, organization. I need a soap dispenser, because I have all this soap, and I need a mechanism to dispense it. So I'm gonna go to Bath and Body Works, and head home to West Philly. I, uh, need to start packing. Um, I recently decided that I'm gonna move out, and it's kind of a big deal, I guess, because I've lived in that house for three years. I totally love it. It's my whole life, but, um, you know, I'm going back to school soon, and I spend a lot of time at my boyfriend's house, and there's been a little bit of tension with my roommates, too, so all of those things kind of combine into maybe I should probably just find another place to stay. And it should be happy. It's happy times. So I need to find a little bit of new furniture. I need a desk for homework and just life, editing videos. And I'm gonna look for a desk today at a thrift store in West Philly, which is super cool. It's called Second Mile. They have a really cool program where if something, they get a piece of furniture and every week the price decreases. So I can find something I really like and wait two weeks and it'll be half price. If someone doesn't buy it, of course. But other than that, um, I'm probably just going to go to my house and pack little things. A, I already spoke with a girl who is going to rent my room and I told her like stuff I have in there, like bookcase and stuff, and she's pretty interested in it. So I'm basically moving my bed because it's pretty new and then everything else I'm kind of leaving there which is cool like fresh start or something new stuff um so yeah storage soap dispenser maybe little knickknacks I don't know but we'll see So I stopped at Home Goods because it was a block before the post office and shame on me, but I really like this picture frame. And I'm not usually one to pay full price for picture frame just because I always get them from the thrift store, but this one's really cute, like an easel. So I'm gonna grab this. And see what else is here. Oh, I should not have come in here. Wink. Um, these are kind of intense. Probably have to pass on all these. I probably didn't need to come in here.
so everything's all set except I'm waiting for the address for this one guy. He sent me all of his information except for his address and I tried messaging him back twice and no response. So I'm gonna wait here like 10 more minutes and if I don't hear from him, I'll just have to do it another day. So I'm leaving the post office and all the supplies total came to 975 and I only charged 10 for the paintings. So I kind of really slacked on charging a shipping price, but whatever, I don't know. So now I'm heading over to get some coffee because I definitely need it. I'm so thirsty. So I got a soy iced latte and I'm heading over to Bath and Body Works. Um, there is a train station in Philly called the Gallery that has like a couple little shops in it, like mall kind of shops. So I got a, I printed out a coupon, but it seems kind of uh, weird. It's like buy one get one free plus ten dollars from a certain collection. I have no idea what that means, but if they have a cheap and unisex kind of soap dispenser or candle. I am interested. So, let's see what this has to offer. And if not, then I'm just gonna jump on the train and head back to West Philly. Um, I was looking for a soap dispenser, um, like a ceramic one, I guess, for my own sink. Mm -hmm. We don't carry them. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. You're welcome. But um, all of our hand soaps are five for eighteen and six, seven for twenty-four today. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so I came inside and like the second I got inside, just lost this, it started raining. So I camped out a second. Ooh, it's got cold. But now I'm walking to Second Mile, which is the thrift store. I need to look at the desks and see if they have like a knickknack or like a soap dispenser or whatever, just like stuff for the new house. Um, I really want to make it seem like, although we're sharing a space, there is stuff that is like uniquely mine and like makes me feel at home because he's already lived in the room for so long, like obviously he feels at home. But if there's just like some ornaments or things that I can relate to, I think that'll really help me feel like I'm not just sleeping over and that I'm really living there. So if I see any items that really speak to me or whatever, hopefully that'll be cool. And maybe I can find a desk. So here we are.
So it's raining, but I did it. I bought a desk. It's terrible, but it was only $10. It was $20, but I was like, hey, that desk is broken. And he was like, yeah, it is. So I have been pushing this desk on this little thing. They have, I think they put bread on these things, like rolls. They let me borrow it to roll it home, and it's loud as life. And everyone's watching me. Also, it's raining, so the thing is really slippery, and the desk continuously falls off it. Also, what are these? And what? How did that happen? Huh? Not connected. Strange. But it has a drawer. That is full of cat hair. But it's real wood, which you won't find at Ikea. I think that somebody made this desk, clearly, and I guess donated it to the thrift store, which is nice of them. And now it's mine. Also, the top of it is covered with burn marks. I guess they kept it in their kitchen and, oh, the sun. Oh. Yeah, I guess they kept it in their kitchen and would put hot hot plates or hot pots on it consistently. But the thrift store gave me a piece of sandpaper. One piece of sandpaper, but ten dollars, a dolly, and a piece of sandpaper? How can you go wrong? I don't know. I just bought a sleeve of Ritz crackers from the corner deli. Yes. Hey, so I'm back home. Well, I'm at my place in West. And I got the desk home and I returned the dolly. And I even got a Diet Coke with lime from the deli. That one, I didn't know they made this anymore. And two, it has a piece of tape on it. But. I didn't want to film while I was in the thrift store because it's pretty small and I thought it would be really shot out if I was just like... But I did get this really cool picture frame that uh, opens so you can put, I guess, small things in it and close it and hang it or do this part. I think this will be really cool. I already know exactly what I'm going to do with it, um, so I'll probably post it on Instagram when it's done. And I have the desk, it's not here, but I have the desk at home. I, one second. Okay, I have my little to-do list and yeah, it totally started raining. And it says ship, did that, went to the post office. And what was cool was that I didn't get the address from that one kid, but while I was waiting in line at the coffee shop, I sold one of my paintings, so yay. I got coffee. I did not get a, a soap dispenser, but suck it, Bath and Body Works. I know you guys sell soap dispensers. Um, storage, I guess not, but I did get those picture frames from Marshalls, which are like really cool, and I'm glad that they're new because it's like the first picture frame I've ever bought, not from the thrift store, and they're really cute. Um, West Philly, here, present, pack. Okay, so. I have to pack up a little bit of my stuff. Um, I kind of know what I can fit in like a little bag that I can take on the subway. So in here it's finished. Um, mail, did that, check the mail. I didn't have anything, weird. Oops, my school is supposed to send me something, whatever. Picture frames, check, desk, check. And thrift store, did it, did it all. Except for whatever I said I didn't do, but I'm really stoked. Um, I'm excited to move. I talked to my one roommate and he was like, yeah, YOLO. So everything's looking pretty cool. Um, oh, it's so good. Why don't they make that anymore? Anyway, so thanks for tuning in and hanging out with me today. I think I'm going to make a post explaining my move a little bit more. And yeah, tell me what you'd like to see. I'd love to show it to you and 
uh, stay tuned, I guess, for more from my move and moving in with my man. And yeah, everyone says that's a bad idea, but yay, let's do it. And yeah, so thanks and see you. And hang out with me on Instagram or Tumblr or here on YouTube and cool, bye.